Hey what's up hello guys, I'm Carla and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing freshman advice for all of you incoming freshmen of the 25th, no not 2015, 2016 and 2017 year. It's so weird to say that but it's coming. If you are searching for advice on maybe some help on how high school is going to be and just some little things that I learned throughout high school or throughout the first year of high school because I am going to be a sophomore and I was in a lot of, well not in a lot of clubs, I was like only in two, but I was still, like I still had the high school experience and I just want to give you guys some tips on what I learned as a freshman. Anyways, let's get started with this video and bye! The first thing that I want to tell you guys is to please, please, please bring your school supplies because apparently a lot of people in high school think that it's cool to not have your school supplies and I don't know, I just, it bothers me because I'm always the one that gets their pencils taken and their paper taken and it just, it bothers me, you know, just, just bring your own school supplies. Please. Second thing that I want to touch on is friendships. Friendships will not last from middle school to high school. If they do, it's because you guys have like a really, really strong bond. But most of the time, if they just kind of thin out, maybe they're going to another high school. That happened to a lot of my friends. Or maybe they just have different classes and different lunches and they become friends with other people and they get into this certain group of people and you just don't see them anymore and they change. People change in high school but it's okay because they're trying to find themselves in high school and you know people can change. It's okay. Plus you will meet a lot of new people so it's not like you're gonna just be all alone and if you are alone and you want some help then just sign up for clubs or classes that you really really like and just talk to people around you. If you're in an honors math class and you really really love math, I bet you that you will find someone that also really really likes math and maybe you will have the same taste in music and maybe they also really like to read like I do and it just, you will meet people with the same taste of things as you or things that they like and don't be afraid to talk to the person next to you or in front of you or if you don't find a table where to sit at, just ask them if you can sit there and then listen kind of to their conversation of what they're saying and if you know what they're talking about and you're passionate about it, just make conversation and the conversation will go on and you guys will become friends. The second thing that I want to touch on is please do not let school slack the freshman year because I find that a lot of my friends they were like oh it's just freshman year you know I can do whatever it doesn't really matter but it does I really screwed up freshman year just because I really didn't know how hard my workload was gonna be because from zero honors classes to like normal level classes to all honors classes it was really hard for me but I finally learned how to control it and now this upcoming year I'm not even going to be in that many honors classes, tops three classes, which to some people that's a lot but to me that's barely anything and I just want to tell you guys that it's okay A to not have all honors classes but B please try to just focus on school because that's the reason why you're there. Not because you want to meet friends, not because you want to get a boyfriend, not because you're there to eat the food. Be like, why nobody <laughs> goes there because of that? No. You're going there because you are learning. And if you forget about that, then your whole grades will just be downfall from there. And my grades were horrible this year horrible and you just don't want to let that happen to you. I hated how that happened to me and I just want to help people think about that. Another thing that I want to tell you guys, the fifth thing actually, is please do not date seniors. Just don't. I have a friend, well I had a friend, she was a middle school friend and we're not really friends anymore, but 
in middle school we were and at the beginning of the year we were and she started dating this senior and he wasn't just 17 he was 18 and she wasn't just 14 or 15 she was 13 and it was a pretty big age gap and I was just like hmm. they barely even had anything in common and to be honest I think she just liked him because he always gave her rights everywhere I'm just saying the truth but yeah and then guys can just take advantage of you and to be honest like this whole thing about seniors the stigma and everything they don't even care about freshmen like it just they don't care they really don't they just want to get out of there as soon as possible they really don't care about you or what you're doing just don't seem obvious that you're a freshman like don't carry all of this of like your backpack be this thick and then like be carrying like brand new sheets of paper like the whole packet just in your arms and then like with your schedule right there a little tip that I want to show you guys I don't have my phone with me right now but put your schedule on your wallpaper and then have the map of the school on the other one it just it helps a lot also another thing that about hallways and finding yourself in school and blah 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 or finding your classroom is after you really have like the main hallways down and all that stuff you usually like know that about a month into school then try to find little hallways that nobody really walks on that are not that popular or that people just don't know about because you will get to class faster I know my school for like everywhere and it's four floors so like it's pretty big but I know every single hallway and staircase it's just easier to get to class if you go through the back staircases than from like the main two ones it's just faster and to be honest you will not seem like the freshman in the class like in my algebra class there were there was even a senior in there and because she failed algebra so many times and when all the freshmen came in she was laughing at them because they were all late and to be honest if you don't want to seem like that annoying freshman then just take the back staircases but do it after you know the school not before because then you will get lost and you'll be even later than the usual late people or the late freshmen anyways I hope you guys like the tips and all of the things that I had to say and sorry if this video is a little bit long I can't really see how long it is I'm trying to see in the viewfinder I don't really know how long it is but I'm sorry if it's a little bit long I just really wanted to give you guys some advice on what to expect this freshman year and if you're really nervous just try to calm down think about it it's just one day of your whole life and try to think of the worst things that can happen and don't exaggerate them just think like normally it's probably not even gonna be that bad if you're late it's okay just go to your class and be like hey i'm new to the school and i'm late and you don't have to say you're a freshman just say you're new to the school because there are a lot of new people in like the upcoming year so like it's okay if t you're saying like oh i'm new to the school because like people probably won't even know that you're a freshman people thought that i was a sophomore so it just it, it just don't try to seem obvious and people won't bully you anyways that was all for the video i hope you guys like it and please give her a big thumbs up if you want more back to school videos because they're coming up real soon um my um school supplies haul i'm planning on uploading it the 31st of july so if it is uploaded that day then thanks mom for letting me buy my school supplies so early but yeah and comment down below what back to school videos you guys want me to do because i'm gonna do so many back to school videos also comment down below a like hashtag or a name for my back to school series because I don't know what I'm gonna call it I kind of want to call it like back to school with Carla but I think that's too simple too obvious so if you know any names that maybe you want to call it then comment down below if you're not subscribed to my channel then click that red button down there to subscribe to my channel because I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and I try really really hard with my videos if you didn't watch my last video then click on the eye right here to check it out 
and I hope you guys like the video and see you in my next one. Bye. I got all the